The city of Detroit has seen its fair share of hard times, but the people who are born and raised here can see the beauty in its grit. They have faith in the city's fighting spirit and hope in its emerging renaissance. Jimmy and Carla are a couple who have lived here their whole life and they embody just that. In fact, they found their company, Regina Andrew Design, with inspiration stemming from the yin and yang of the beauty and grit right here in their hometown. This is their story. Welcome to Regina Andrew Design, a home furnishings company and design studio located in the Paris of the Midwest. 20 years ago, Jimmy and Carla were young creatives. Jimmy was a musician and Carla was an artist when they discovered their passion for designing home furnishings right out of their garage. Today, you can find their incredibly unique designs all over the world in national, regional, and international furniture and lighting stores and online. This married couple did what many of us would love to do. They took their passion and turned it into a thriving business. Talking about the genesis of Regina Andrew Design, how did you go about that? How did you know how to build and start your own company and grow from there? One of the luxuries we had being um, naive starting the company, and that's what we were. Naivety allowed us to, to experiment, like hugely experiment. Yeah. And we did cover the gamut of whatever we wanted to make, wow. we would make. This is the result of that experimentation. Designs fully inspired by the grit and grace of Detroit, from elegant chandeliers to one-of-a-kind chairs, sconces, and more. Without any business experience or a business degree, they built their company by focusing on their passion and their products, these stunning pieces of art. We owned everything ourselves, and we didn't even uh, dare to take out a business loan. We just tried to build it dollar by dollar by dollar, and it has been a long growing process. So with that kind of conservative background of not spending too much, recycling everything we get, one of the biggest pivot points was really coming to the realiza realization that this is really something we want to pursue. In the highly competitive industry of design, original ideas are key. Jimmy and Carla look to their hometown of Detroit for inspiration to develop their own aesthetic for Regina Andrew Design. Uh, in this area, there's a lot of architectural salvage from the buildings right. that have been, been torn down in Detroit to Toledo. Right. And we're always out picking and scavenging and bringing things home and, and then turning them into something. We're always seeking the unexpected. We go out of our way to take the road less traveled. Yeah. And we're stopping in any from a little antique mall yeah. to uh, Jimmy was just at a Ohio submarine plant oh my and gosh. nuclear plants, so we can, we get everything. Yeah. All kinds of bits and pieces. The inspiration is from um, the world around us. We travel heavily, so yeah. we get to, we are, have the luxury of seeing design that is far beyond anything we've ever imagined or outside of our, you know, small area. It's always something new, yeah. something different. Yeah. It, it's, it's never boring. The result of their creative process and vision was designing products that sold, and sold quickly. Join us on part two of this episode of The Grow Wire Show to discover how Jimmy and Carla turned their original handcrafted pieces of art into mass production and built a scalable, profitable business. Before we got there in the morning, a, a big box store buyer was waiting for us when we arrived to order three or four containers of one of our products. Oh my gosh. 